Bitcoin is absolutely losing its shit right now. It has fallen through support and this is a really hot time in the market. So let's break down what we're seeing here, what we could be looking at if the price can recover back up or if we're looking at continuing on downwards. Um, you know, so far what we've seen here is an absolutely huge uh, sell-off just today, uh, you know, in terms of recent volatility. I mean, if you look at this daily candle, um, you know, we have basically seen three dumps just gradually getting stronger. But this candle, uh, you know, from low to from high to low, basically starting to look a little bit like this one here, not quite as strong, but we haven't had a lot of volatility, right? I mean, from now up until this dump, we have had basically a week in between, um, you know, so the market is waking up a little bit here. And we have now lost a very important area of support. But it's not all doom and gloom, because if we look at some of our key indicators, as far as support goes, the one day Ichimoku card is right here, almost like Superman, just ready to sweep in and save us potentially. Um, you know, and the other thing that I'm potentially looking at is the possibility of this being a fake out. Now, I don't want to say that this is a fake out. This looks like a pretty, um, you know, as far as Bitcoin dumps, see, the thing is, is when Bitcoin dumps and it's like ready to set lows and so on, one of the ways that it does that very commonly is it just looks like absolute shit. Like it just is depressing, you know, in terms of like there's almost no relief. We just keep dropping lower and lower. A little bit like this, right? Like we just kept on dropping very, very small amount of relief and kept on dropping. I don't even want to call this relief and kept on dropping, um, you know, and, and, and this is this is synonymous with a lot of I mean, like the big moves from the 60k range down to 40k, uh, 30k, like it was it was very much, you know, just a similar characteristic of the market just continuously selling off. So we're seeing something somewhat similar right now. And that's not making me particularly optimistic. Um, you know, but one of the key things that I would like to say just at a time like this is we are starting to see the right signs come on now fear and greed index dropping down, we're now entering fearful territory. Um, what we don't have is the long and short ratio looking good, right? The long and short ratio is hugely skewed towards the bulls at the moment, which is honestly a little bit of a shame. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things that's um, that that I that I wouldn't want to be seeing right now. But as far as these moves go, uh, I do want to remind you guys just how common deviations are. Uh, you know, this is deviation city. As far as I'm concerned, we had this uh, resistance level right here, deviated above it, came back down. We had uh, a support level uh, over here. We deviated below it and then came back up. Uh, you know, I mean, th this this is this is where this is where it happens, right? I mean, the whole market is just deviations upon deviations. Look, we set this high right here deviated above it came back down. Um, you know, is, is this a similar situation where we set a low here, deviate below and then come back up? I, I definitely think that it's, you know, I mean, if, if there's anything that's fairly likely to have, I'm not saying that this is, you know, above 50% or anything, but if there's anything that has a good chance of happening right now, uh, you know, I think that this is a strong contender, um, you know, kind of forming these deviations. It really just depends on your perspective, right? Because if you're maintaining that kind of bearish bias, and there's actually a lot that you can cling on to right now, I don't know um, exactly which one uh, is the news here. Um, but there is yeah, I'm not gonna find it am I? Uh, but there is a, uh, you know, some like I've, I've heard like, um, the US government is like selling Bitcoin or some crazy shit like that right now. I mean, it's just very, very interesting. Uh, what people are coming up with right now. I'm sure actually, if we just type in uh, Bitcoin into Google, um, you know, and we take a look at, um, you know, what the newest headlines are. We'll see something about this. Um, yeah, so it, it's 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 liquidations here. Uh, Silvergate, obviously one of the uh, one of the big banks that we spoke about in a recent video. Um, you know, so so there's uh, you know I mean it's it's one of those days of coordinated fund. There's also the uh, the Mount Gox thing. There's a huge amount of Bitcoin that's potentially going to be getting liquidated. So it seems like just kind of a, a rush of bearish news hitting the market all at the same time. And the reason that I'm particularly looking at the news today is Bitcoin is down by three point seven percent, but Ethereum is down by two point three. So Ethereum is actually doing well against Bitcoin today, right? This is Ethereum against Bitcoin, which is uh, highly unusual to be honest. Um, you know, I'm actually curious to see if this repeats on other charts, like you know, Binance against Bitcoin. Um, this would be interesting. Yeah, so Binance also rising up against Bitcoin, right? I mean, if we look at this on the daily chart today, we've gained, uh, you know, two percent against Bitcoin here. So, um, you know, we are seeing that this is, you know, uh, more of a how do I say, like local attack on Bitcoin. Um, S and P five hundred, yes, is also dropping down a little bit today. Uh, not too long until this trading session closes, uh, and the dollar is looking, uh, yeah, I mean, decent. I don't know. There's not a whole lot that we can read into this right now, but the dollar is pulling back. So. Um, you know, as far as the dollar looking decent, uh, you know, a bit of a pullback potentially meaning that we can rise on up, but I don't think that it's going to move that way. I think that we are more likely to keep dropping down, which is again, one of those things that makes this dump a little bit more
more concerning because we have factors that should be working in Bitcoin's favor as far as that dollar dump goes, as far as you know being at a very good area of support goes. Um, also Fibonacci retracement, right? I also want to show this to you because this is something that I've been speaking about a little bit on this YouTube channel for a while. We've also now clearly lost the support level, right? By the way, but this is a you know quite a big drop. I mean, you know, again, if this is a deviation, then fine, okay, and it definitely can be a deviation. And this market has proved to us that we can form deviations that last even multiple days, right? I mean, like if our resistance level right here is right here. We look at how long it took Bitcoin to drop, uh, to, to get above it and then fall back down. This was two days and 20 hours, right? So basically three days that we deviated above. Um, and also percentage wise, it wasn't like particularly small. It's actually exactly the same as what we're in right now. So, um, you know, Bitcoin has shown us that our deviations can take, I don't want to say a long time, but it can definitely be quicker than, you know, uh, it can definitely take longer than something fast, I guess, you know, to use very vague terms. Um, but uh, not only that, it, 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 it can also go, you know, fairly far. You know, I mean, our deviations have been pretty fucking an extreme to be honest in this market i mean if we zoom out a little bit and look at this deviation for example um you know i think you know putting this uh, resistance level right here lining up with some of these key levels and then we measure how high we went on this occasion you know i mean this deviation going up by about eight percent you know so these are not small right i mean that's a confirmed breakout um you know by most people's measures but um you know bitcoin has just been doing this as far as i, I think you know just to kind of grab liquidity and so on obviously because this market has been very tense to trade in uh, but it also means that there's been a lot of amazing opportunities and i I do want to highlight that to you, um, you know, with OKX offering you up to 20K in rewards, that is a very, very strong offer, um, which you can get just by signing up um, and using my link in the description and kind of using the platform, right? If you register, you get up to 10K in a mystery box and by trading and depositing, um, you can unlock another 10k in rewards if you want to stack buy but on top of that head on over to the rewards hub when you sign up using my link down below you get up to 30k just as a straight deposit bonus literally whatever you put in whatever you trade with according to that you're going to get just free fucking cash deposited into your account which is absolutely crazy um you know and that allows you to uh you know again just throw more money into the market that isn't yours in the first place anyway so you don't really, really even have to you know worry about losing it which is pretty damn cool um you know so seeing a little bit of a uh, drop here I think does present some opportunities especially if this is a deviation this is definitely what I'm looking at most of all because to me uh, you know continuing to drop lower wouldn't make a whole lot of sense it's obviously quite uncomfortable to be in this position right now saying this uh, because we are breaking down right now uh, you know but it's hard for me to imagine that this thing comes down all the way here like I said if it does I'm still not going to be worried because this is still really good support but it is a big deal to be losing this low um, you know if we get a daily close below here for example like I said we can still spend a good amount of days um, you know above our uh, uh you know deviating basically it doesn't you know really mean the end of the world right i mean you could technically even i guess say that anything above this price area right that was such a bad line anything above this price again a very bad line let me just do a normal one anything above this price area here was a bit of a deviation you could you, you could very well make the argument for that and this one lasted like two weeks right and i think it's quite fair to say it's a deviation because we were stuck below this line for a long time and then we managed to get above it but not for long so um you know th this is something that i think is well worth considering uh to me it's still doesn't make a whole lot of sense that Bitcoin can be dropping. Um, the only thing that has been working against Bitcoin's favor has been the long and short ratio, which is just way too high right now. Um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, 24 hours, uh, Binance retail, you got more than two positions going long for every short. Um, Binance top traders also slightly skewed long, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, Bybit is is heavily short right now, uh, but but not nearly as much as uh, as Binance is long. You know, so and Binance is going to be your main retail traders. So um, this is the one that I want to be looking at. And and yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's um it's definitely looking like uh, you know retail is pretty you know they, they they want the price of bitcoin to go up right and um uh yeah i mean it's it's kind of conflicting with what we're seeing here with the fear and greed index but i think that if we do end up closing around here you know over the next kind of you know however many hours i think like four or five hours until this daily candle closes that we are probably going to see a much lower reading on the fear and greed index hopefully we're going to be below 40 um if we can get into you know like the low 30s for example i don't think we're going to drop down that low but if we do um you know then, then we're starting to enter kind of extreme fear uh, you know and and that would um that would obviously be exactly what we're looking for in this market. So, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's it's looking spicy. It's looking very, very hot. Uh, as far as support levels go, obviously we have 19.6 and that's where I would expect Bitcoin to, uh, you know, start finding support again if things do get bad. Um, you know, if we are looking at something like this, I would definitely have to expect a very nice recovery up. Um, again, I, I did say I want to show you the Fibonacci retracement. So let's actually go take a quick look at this as well. Uh, and you can see right here, we have fallen through the 33382 levels. So uh, not the best sign right there if we move the Fibonacci 
Fibonacci up here. We do have a 0.5 retracement here, which has been more and more useful for Bitcoin. Um, I don't know how much I want to use this. This has been how I drew the Fibonacci for a while. Uh, but now that we have gone from a macro low to a macro high, I think it does make more sense to draw the Fib off this level instead. Uh, so in this case, I mean, you know, 618 levels lining up right here. I would be very surprised, to be honest with you guys, if this failed. I, I really don't think Bitcoin is going below, uh, you know, nineteen, eighteen thousand dollars again. Um, I, I mean, it, it's certainly possible. I, I, I'm, I'm staying open to that possibility. I have money on the side ready to put in Bitcoin if that happens. But I don't know. Uh, to me, this this was a you know, I mean, I, at least for a while, I don't necessarily see that happening. So uh, that's something that I'm going to be, uh, you know, potentially looking to put some money towards as well. And uh, and that is something I've been speaking about for a while. Like I've been pretty bullish, um, you know, during this drop. I've really been liking this drop. Now, obviously, this is the first sign where that's kind of starting to crack. But again, that's what deviations do. So, um, you know, that's the main thing that I'm keeping in mind as a trader. As I navigate these markets, if you want to be able to see how I'm doing it, uh, then you can jump into VIP by following these steps on the screen. I'm actually in a trade right now, but VIPs know what that is. Uh, so I won't be sharing any information about that until it's closed as usual. Uh, um, that information stays in VIP. So if you want to join, you can follow these steps on screen right here. Uh, definitely quite optimistic about that trade. Um, let's take a look at some of the other key things going on in the market as well. I want to take a quick look at some of these altcoins. Cardano against the dollar also dropping pretty hard. Cardano against Bitcoin, you know, relatively stable. Um, yeah, Binance against USD staying yeah more or less the same as well. So I guess that's somewhat promising. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's uh, I think that I think that's more or less what we're looking at here is uh, yeah potentially kind of you know grabbing a little bit of support a little bit lower. Um, I guess one of the other problems that's worth taking into account is that we do you know have now a fair bit of resistance as well. Uh, you know if we do manage to kind of mount an attack upwards, uh, you know we're just going to run <laughs> right into resistance unfortunately, which kind of sucks to be honest. But um, it is what it is, and this gets worse when we look at things like the momentum indicators. Four hour EMA ribbon definitely causing some problems for Bitcoin right now on the one hour time frame as well. Still causing some problems for Bitcoin. One hour each Moku cloud causing some problems for Bitcoin. So, uh, you know, is this going to continue to materialize into a problem if you drop a little bit lower and then come back up? Potentially, um, you know, especially if we keep sticking to this current uh, this current short term trend. But like I said, we zoom out, it looks a little bit better. Momentum is not on our side on any time frame as far as I'm concerned. One hour all the way up to one day, it is bearish, and we are starting to get some bearish crossovers. Not the end of the world, um, you know, but uh, but again, it it is uh, you know, it's one of those signs that develops that could be an early warning sign. Um, you know, the other thing that I do want to highlight to you is that we did obviously have this golden cross uh, a little while back. So, uh, you know, that's pretty nice. But we also had a death cross as well. And that is exactly where Bitcoin got rejected. So this is something that we were talking about on this YouTube channel. Uh, if you were subscribed, you're gonna know all about that. Uh, you know, and, and, and that is now, uh, you know, quite clearly something that has become a problem for Bitcoin, you know, not only did we encounter the uh, 50 week moving average, but also the 200 week moving average, both at the very same point. This is the first bearish death cross Bitcoin has ever had on the weekly time frame, as far as I no, and I'm pretty sure I checked that last time. So uh, I, I highly doubt that's changed because obviously we can't change history. Um, you know, so that's, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's one of those things which uh, it, I, I don't want to like read too much into. Um, because it's such a long time frame thing, like it's almost like not particularly relevant, but um, it, it clearly did end up, uh, you know, having some bearing on the market right here. So, um, you know, that is something that I want to uh, highlight to you guys. But again, uh, you know, the key thing that I think is worth paying attention to is that even though this pullback is, you know, potentially for some people going to start looking a little bit scary, um, you know, it's not actually that bad. It's, you know, minus 16, 17% after we've literally rallied up by more than 60%, right? So you kind of put this in perspective. If we drop by, you know, 17% after rallying up by more than 60 percent is it really that bad you know what i mean like i'm just not that worried um you know again i would i would really start to get worried if we start sweeping these lows down here um you know if we get you know below basically eighteen thousand dollars that's where i'm starting to be like all right well you know we really shouldn't have returned back to this area that would be pretty bearish maybe we got a double bottom but i don't i, I wouldn't you know i mean it, it, we're in a bear market at the end of the day we still are you know we, we didn't break out of it with this and, and that's a perspective that i have maintained even when i was saying that i think bitcoin can go higher i've always been saying that i think that's you know still potentially means that we're in a longer term bear market um you know and I, I'm, I'm very happy to change that opinion if the evidence presents itself but right now i haven't seen anything to convince me that i should do that so that's what i'm seeing right now i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have you know exactly what to do hit up the like subscribe to the bell do all the good stuff check out bybit and okx for fifty thousand dollars in reward Prime XBT stack it on top for 7k. Uh, I really want to get uh, a lot more content out on this exchange because having 
access to these markets is huge. Uh, you know, those of you uh, that are interested in traditional finance, it's a lot easier to trade than crypto. Uh, you know, are really going to find this quite interesting. And again, the really cool thing about Prime XBT is literally just if you use my link and everything down below, um, literally just seven percent of whatever you deposit onto Prime XBT becomes a deposit bonus that they credit to you for free as well, which means that you get extra cash deposited into your account for free, uh, and you can trade with it, same as Bybit uh, and OKX offering you similar rewards as well. So go ahead and check that out. And if you want to jump inside of VIP, here are the steps on the screen. Once again, make sure you subscribe. Very time sensitive content. Check the bell icon so that you get notified when these videos come out. And if you want to jump inside of Four Flies VIP, bam, these are the steps on the screen right here. Very, very straightforward. There we go. And I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy. Cheers.